Hi, I'm Harry Karam Singh, inventor of the AC Sabre. Today we're going to look at a technique to create really complex jazzy chord progressions for jazz or deep house or deep dubstep down tempo uh, without having to learn all the complex theory or spend you know tons of time practicing on an instrument. And we're going to take a look at some of the scales that the AC Sabre has to offer to experiment with. When you first start up the AC Sabre and you slide open that left quick panel, you might be forgiven for thinking that the Sabre has only got like, you know, six or so scales built into it. But no, I would never leave you so deprived. Uh, I've built in over 200 scales in the AC Sabre. And if you tap the scales link below the knobs, it takes you to the full screen where you can see that there is all these scales laid out in different categories. And we've got a key picker up top and then we've got the categories and so basic we've got major minor pentatonics we've got all the jazz modal scales we've got more complex jazz scales and world scales and if your midi is hooked up to uh, an instrument you can also preview them so if you tap to select like mississippi blues and hit preview or maybe some persian So you can get an idea of how they feel. And we also have arpeggio scales, some bass line scales, and North Indian, South Indian rogs, tons of them. So lots to explore. Right, so when you're doing a performance, you might want, you know, you might want to change your, your key or your scale, and you don't want to have to go to another screen and scroll through dozens and dozens and hundreds of scales in order to find the one you want. So I've built in a feature called Quick Scales. And what that is is that you see these little stars next to the scales. If you tap those, it adds it to a section called Quick Scales here. And then if you exit out and check out that wheel in the left panel, those are just the ones, the scales that you have set up for Quick Scales. And so you can add the ones you need for that performance and just quickly cycle through those. So we're going to use that technique in order to um, do some kind of jazzy improvisation and create a chord progression out of it. Uh, so what I'd like you to do is go into the scales section, go over to quick scales, and just clear out what we have in there. Boom. And then go over to the modal category and select Ionian as our kind of base. And Ionian is just, uh, it's just the major scale. It's another name for it. And also give that a star so it's in the wheel. And also let's add Mixolydian and Locrian. These are two really nice jazzy moody um, modes. So if we exit out of there now and we slide open the left quick panel, we can check Ionian. And then if we tap, we get Mixolydian. If we tap again, we get Locrian. And they're, they're, they're there for our quick and easy access. In order to create a chord progression, what the trick we're going to use is that we're going to play notes with the saber, play little arpeggios, and then change the mode, that the, the active mode, the active scale, at different points to create that progression. So the first two bars in Ionian, then the third bar in Mixolydian, and then the fourth and final bar in that Locrian mode, and that'll give us a kind of turnaround back to the top. The other thing to bring this all together is using a trick to play arpeggios, chord scales in the saber. And if you check, double check the, at the bottom that the bloom is your, uh, it, the bloom has the soloist bloom set selected. That controls the what these various buttons in this this user interface device here does. And if you have the soloist selected and you tap the rightmost one, and you can see up top, it tells you what it is. It says every other. And what that means is that instead of playing every, triggering every beam in sequence, it just triggers every other one starting with the one that you tap down. And you can hear how that creates this kind of, um, it's called an arpeggio, which is it essentially lays out the notes of chords. So what we're going to do is we're going to play, use that, use that button and play arpeggios in each of the modes. And let's load it up and give it a go. So we start off in Ionian, hit record. Maybe try a couple different starting points. Then now three, hit to switch to Mixolydian. Then Locrian. Right, using the pen tool, we're going to create chords by stacking up notes using the ones that we played as a guide. Now, one of the characteristics of another characteristic of jazz, the jazzy chord progressions is that the chords have often four or more notes in them. Partly this is just using your ear combined with a bit of serendipity. Um, 
and changing the grid size, command one and two, makes life a little bit simpler here. Let's start with this one. Right, so now that I've done that, let's have a quick listen and see what we think. That's two chords in Ionian. Now the Mixolydian. And now for the Locrian. Two variations. Yeah, that's really deep, really jazzy, especially that last chord, really complex, and you know, no, no kind of mental calculation, all done with a little bit of improv and a little bit of ear. One last step, let's have a little bit of a jam over top. I've got, if I slide open and change the MIDI channel 4, I've got another instrument set up on there. The Brassicon, which I think is built into Ableton Studio. Right, so same idea here, we're going to jam in Ionian for the first two bars, and then change the Mixolydian for the third, Locrian for the fourth, and then back to the top. Let's give it a go. Awesome, right, so that is how you use the saber to use the scales to create complex chord progressions without having to know any of the theory, without having to learn any of the complexities um, that go along with it in, in the traditional approach. I hope you have a great time creating your own chord progressions and exploring all the 200 scales that the AC Saber has to offer. Let us know how you get on. Leave us a comment. Come connect with us on social media. We're Aircraft HQ on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Twitter, and Airspace Craft on Facebook. I'm Harry Karam Singh, inventor of the Saber. And until next time, have an awesome sound creation, awesome jamming, awesome riff making.